Hi, my name is Stephen McGee and I'm the author of Toxic Light. We're here today to look into the electromagnetic interference from computer systems, in particular laptop computers. And we have this oscilloscope display in front of us and it's actually reading on the left hand side zero frequency and all the way over to the right hand side is about two and a half megahertz. And we're on a fast Fourier transform function showing decibels and uh, we're going to see what happens to the human body frequency when we come into contact with digital equipment. Now we have a few things that are actually in operation here right now. We have the oscilloscope which has a digital control system on it. We have a laptop computer and we also have its power supply. So there's three things here that are going to produce electromagnetic interference which we're going to see on the oscilloscope and I'm actually sitting about two meters from the equipment right now and I'm going to connect in to the oscilloscope and we're going to see the frequency spectrum come up on the oscilloscope. So that's my body frequency right now and the predominant source of that frequency right now is the oscilloscope. So I'm going to move closer to the computer and put on my hand onto the computer system and we're going to see how that changes. So I've just come into contact with the computer on the keyboard and I'm slowly sliding my hand across the computer keyboard. And we can see that there's more frequencies coming in. And you see the frequency spectrum changing, particularly on the left hand side there's a lot more electrical frequencies present. And some of these frequencies appear to pulsate and that seems to be in line with the computer processing and the functions that it's doing right now. So as you can see that computers actually do influence the body voltage quite significantly. I've just taken my hand off so you can see what it's like when I'm not in contact with the computer. And one more time I'm going to place my hand on the computer and we can see the spectrum change. So my hand's now in contact with the computer and you see that pulsating frequency. So that pulsating frequency is my body. The only place that I am connected to the oscilloscope is through the tip of my finger on my left hand. So there's one other component that I'm going to check out now and that is the computer power supply. I'm going to place my hand onto the computer power supply and we're going to see how that affects the frequency spectrum. So my hand is now sitting on top of the computer power supply and we can see that a whole bunch of new digital noise frequencies came in. And this is one of the things that you need to be careful of around computer equipment is that it significantly affects the frequencies that are present within the human body and also within the human cells. And if you're in contact with these frequencies for prolonged periods every day, then you are probably going to get quite sick. And uh, we seem to be in a society that has adopted these computer systems and uh, without any regard to the effects that it has on the human body and the human body voltage. As you can see, I, I've taken my hand off the computer power supply and we've gone back down to the base frequency. And just one last check on this, I'm going to replace my hand on it. So my hand is now on top of the computer power supply again. So it's, it's quite different. I'm going to take my hand off and there we go. So you can see that there's a lot of stuff going on in the human body regarding frequencies and the frequency content of the human body and digital components uh, of these devices are having a significant effect on the body voltage and with the association of the cellular system it's probably going to cause problems in the human body. So that was the purpose of this demonstration was to show you that all the devices that you come into contact with during your daily routines are actually having an effect on your body that you can't sense but with test equipment you can very plainly see and if you're getting sick you should pay attention to these effects and probably take out these digital items from your life and see whether it improves your health. I hope you enjoyed this presentation and I wish you the very best of health. Thank you.